what's up, Duff here. Hey, I am uh, out with my moonwalkers. Well, not mine, but the moonwalkers that I'm testing. And I have an idea. I'm going to give them a little bit of a torture test and see if they uh, survive. Uh, they better survive, right? Um, but yeah, here we go. In a parking garage. Which obviously has incline and decline. I'm curious how this will work on these prolonged inclines and declines. My body weight is about 185 pounds. So I thought this would be an interesting test. When I turned the moonwalkers on, their temperature was 24 degrees centigrade or Celsius. Let's see what they are at the end of this. I think this is five levels or maybe six. I don't know. Let's find out. No, I don't know what the grade is of the inclines, but geez, damn it. <laughs> See, that's, that is what happens to me sometimes. If you, if you inadvertently get a little forward on your feet, then it kind of snowballs because it wants to break because it's not sensing the heel toe movement. And then it just wants to stop more abruptly, which gets you off in that tippy toe motion that you just saw. But like anything, uh, with practice it should get better. Going up another incline. Does this feel easier than... Oof. Slow down, slow down, baby, slow down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it wants to, I don't know, it was wanting to accelerate there a little bit more than I was comfortable with. But anyways, is this easier than walking up this incline? Yeah. Is it faster than just walking? Yes. Does it have more risk associated with it? Yes. We are now on level, th level three. is the, the shoes are sensing the incline and they're putting, oh, whoa, 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 geez. You know, they have to exert more power to get you up this incline and it starts, it starts getting a little faster than I'm comfortable with. Start to feel a little bit out of control. So for my initial test, I had the the uh, moonwalkers in sport mode. I wound up in sport mode. Now I just shift them back to city mode. I think that might be a little bit more um, in the middle. And I'm fine with that. Up the incline to level five. Yeah, this feels, yeah, it's not trying to charge ahead as much in city mode as it was in sport mode. So this feels more, uh, more controllable. I like this mode better. Okay. Next stop, the roof. Next stop. Hmm, downhill. Okay. Definitely feels different. We made it to the roof. All right. And stop. Okay, temperature 20, it didn't go much at all actually, surprisingly. Okay, 29 degrees Celsius, only went up five degrees doing that climb. Uh, it is cool today, cooler, much cooler than it was the other day when I was doing my initial test. Battery, let's see, I started at 80% on the left and I don't know what it was, 80, mid 80s in the right. I've noticed I haven't been able to get these shoes to show 100% when charging for some reason, but. So now we're down, yeah, we're down about 6% per shoe after doing that climb. So, all right, now we're gonna go down. We're gonna see what it feels like going downhill. 
so one of the persistent comments I got from my uh, first video on the Moonwalkers is the noise. Yes, there is no doubt that they do have significant noise. And it's like a two, it's like a, a two part noise. Like each step almost sounds like a, kind of like a horse, horse hooves kind of clomping on the ground a little bit, at least when I do it. And, um, and then you have the sound of the motors as well. So you know, it, there definitely is not a, a stealth mode with these, uh, with these um, moonwalkers. Whoa, there we go. Got to keep that heel toe going. Got to keep, keep it going. Even going downhill, it's a little weird. There are lots of seams in a parking garage. And the, uh, they do not really seem to impact me much. They don't feel like they're causing me a significant trip hazard or anything like that. This is what downhill looks like from the side. Now descending down to level two. This is about top speed in city mode. All right, we are back. So how was it? How was it taking Moonwalkers up and down a six-story parking lot? Interesting. Interesting is the word I would use. Um, it again required me to kind of use a slightly different technique going up hills and down hills. Um, as you saw a couple of those, those uh, sort of stumbles I had. I was thinking to myself, do I feel less tired walking that in the Moonwalkers than if I walk by myself. And I would say, yeah, I'm not sure, because even though you're taking less steps, you're lifting you know, the, the moonwalker for each step. So I think it's probably close to a wash as far as effort goes. Did, now, did I cover, did I cover the distance uh, faster than I would have just walking? Yes, for sure, I definitely did. And I don't know, is it a bad thing that, that you're still using energy to, to use these? Probably not, no, I mean, it's good exercise. Definitely it's good exercise, but I, for some reason, I thought that it might struggle a little bit doing prolonged inclines like that, but no, it, it was fine, so that's good to know. So anyways, just a, just a little, little quick uh, semi-torture test, I guess, of the Moonwalker arrows. Uh, I, might, I might have another video in me about these. I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't, I haven't decided 100%, but um, it's been fun. And once again, my thanks to Shift Robotics for letting me test these. And... Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, ideas and thoughts below. What are your, what's your feedback on what you've seen with the Moonwalker arrows? I've gotten a lot of good feedback from the first uh, video and I expect to probably get more here. So yeah, keep it coming. Um, that's all I have for now. Until next time, Duffman out.